all throughout the month of April and two weeks into May, we're bringing you the series Fully Alive. What is your energy level? How are your reactions to difficult situations? Are your joints aching? Are you struggling some days just to go on? While well, answering yes to any of those or several other questions can point to a myriad of possible health ailments, Donna Kretsch explains from personal experience that these symptoms could be the precursors to some serious health problems. But the good news is, it's not too late for you to make the proper adjustments so you can live fully alive. They told her the next phase was death. What would you think if you got a message like that? Well, today we're going to start a multi-week series where we talk with Donna Kretsch and some of her friends about how God can do amazing things to change health. It happened to her, it happened to her friends, and you know what? It could also happen to you as well. Donna, thank you so much for joining us on Faith and Friends as we get ready to talk about a really important subject. Hmm. Understatement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because what people don't know is that God intended us to feel fantastic until the day we leave this planet. But nobody tells us that. And then nobody tells us how. As a matter of fact, what we're told is, well, you know, you are getting older. And it's hogwash. It's just not true. But it's, it's what we're conditioned to believe. Um, it doesn't have to be that way. But I think no one knows what these feeling lousy things mean. Uh, there is a reason they're occurring. It's not just that they're occurring. And by feeling lousy things, I mean like your body is hurting, there's pain, uh, your joints are hurting, or, or you just have pain throughout. You can't sleep, um, you've got acid reflux, or you've got digestive disorders, or you've got headaches, or your vision is changing. I mean, that's a big one, right? People go, well, no, that's just part of getting older. No, that's actually coming back to a hormone imbalance. Mm. So people don't know. and Boy, do they not know that a hormone imbalance and feeling lousy can actually keep you from losing weight. Uh, it can cause you unexplained weight gain, even if you're doing everything right. So yeah, this is uh, it's life-changing stuff. Now, our members tell us life-saving stuff, <laughs> uh, but our team claims at the very minimum life-changing stuff. And it, we wouldn't be doing it if I hadn't lived through my story. So Donna just mentioned some very common health issues that, that may affect you, one, two, or several of them. We hear about them all the time across our country. Diagnoses are being made every single day on how to treat each one individually. But let's take a look at it as a whole, and let's listen to Donna's story as she talks about not just what happened to her, but how those symptoms, she saw great improvement in what happened to her, but also how it could mean changes for you. Donna, let's go ahead and start. Tell me a little bit of your story. Okay, well, with your permission, you have said that I can share part of an article that I wrote. So I'm gonna start the story by just, just one paragraph out of the article. And of course, if, if our viewer wants a copy of this, we'll be happy to get and them. You can the always contact us. There and we, we can go, get perfect. It as okay, well. so here's just one paragraph that I'll extract and then I'll elaborate, if that's okay. Um, I was told I might die. A memory that will be forever burned on my brain is of my children sitting with me as I told them. I was so weak, I couldn't operate a hand can opener. I was so exhausted, I literally could barely lift my head. The pain that ran through my body was indescribable. I missed a lot of things that matter to me. I had to say no to family time, events where help was needed, church functions, and travel. I vividly remember lying on my couch, sobbing, knowing I was missing time with people I loved but also because the thoughts running through my mind were, is this it? Am I really dying? Are these years all I get and have I made these years matter? As tears poured, my body felt like I was 90 and my spirit mm -hmm. felt a heaviness I want no one to ever experience ever. I felt beaten. I was in a state of illness followed by depression that I can't find words for. That, that's a very heavy paragraph. That's a very heavy paragraph. Wow. When you open this segment. And that's real. It's real. <laughs> that really happened to you, and you really, you really experienced all of that. When you opened this segment with, they told her the next phase was death, it was kind of overwhelming. <laughs> I tell my own story, and I can say it. But when I hear somebody else say it, I remember how real it was when he said it to me. Now listen, again, our viewer, you and I, have had these conversations. People just keep going, we just keep going. We don't feel so great, but we just keep going. It's the way we're made. And I had some colds, or I had some what seemed to be infections, bronchially, uh, 
or I'd just be kind of laid up a few days feeling achy, thinking it was flu-like. And that happened over a couple years. Now, my background's exercise, right? Mm -hmm. And exercise fixes everything, right? <laughs> she, had, she said somewhat sarcastically, <laughs> uh, because that's what I believed. So when I didn't feel good or I felt kind of run down, I would exercise because exercise fixes everything. Well, over a period of a couple of years, I would get worse. And these, these times of not feeling well would get closer and closer together. And we were making some changes with our program at Total Solution. And I had begun working with different experts around the country, uh, sex hormone experts, and moved into psychologists, and moved into OBGYNs. And I was moving into stress hormone experts. So this was all very quote unquote coincidental, not, mm. there are no coincidences, God's got it all planned, right? Um, so as I'm working with a stress hormone expert, I'm, I'm starting to learn of questions to ask our members that are making my ears perk up. And as we're talking, he's picking up some of what I'm saying that I'm going through. And he says, Donna, I think we need to, to do a couple tests. I think you're dealing with some adrenal stuff. I think you've got mm. some cortisol problems. Now. When stress rises, cortisol rises. And we all have stress. Mm -hmm. So we've all got some cortisol issues going on, and that's going to make all the other hormones go out of balance. Now, again, symptoms. Um, as I mentioned, I was so weak, literally, I, couldn't, I could not turn. Not that it was slow to turn a hand can, I couldn't do it. There wasn't strength to turn the hand can opener. Couldn't lift my head. I was exhausted. Yet, I would wake up in the middle of the night two, three, four hours couldn't go back to sleep. My brain was so foggy, I couldn't remember anything. I mean, it started to get, I started to get scared. I went to a test, listen, every test, poke, prod, x-ray you can have, mm -hmm. I had. And I went to a test to see if, if I had the onset of Alzheimer's. I was, I was terrified. Now, I'm a big one on, as a man thinks, so is he, right? Uh, and out of the abundance of the heart, right, a man speaks. So I wouldn't say these words out loud yeah. to very many people, but as time went on, I was more and more scared. I got to the point where my gums would bleed. Now, not when I flossed or when I brushed, but sitting here talking to you, blood would begin running down my teeth. That was terrifying. And my hair was falling out in chunks. My skin itched so bad that I scratched it off to the point where I had huge scratch marks where blood had ooh. I mean, it was just bad. And like I said, I remember being on my couch and beginning to cry because the fear was starting to overtake me that he told me the next phase was death. Now, it can start with adrenal exhaustion, which is usually where it says, sorry, adrenal fatigue. Mm -hmm. It's pretty light. Uh, you probably won't even notice it. Adrenal exhaustion, you may notice some symptoms. Adrenal burnout, and the end of adrenal burnout is where I was. The next phase was adrenal failure. Well, adrenal failure equals death. You can't function. And what I realized after I observed all these symptoms, and now I'm working with the stress hormone expert, so we're working very closely, and there are many other symptoms that we haven't talked about here, what I realized is my body was shutting down. My body was going into the dying mode. Now, what I also found out is this is not uncommon, uncommon, but most folks don't get to the place where I was, right? And as most folks go through this journey, um, their symptoms are being labeled as something other than what mm -hmm. they might be. Now, again, I, I'm not going to profess I'm a doctor. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say I can cure anything. I, can, mm -hmm. I couldn't say that if I wanted to. Uh, but what I have is my own story, and now what I have are thousands and thousands of stories from members who we've taught this information to and their life is changing. It goes back to the root. Why don't you feel well? Or why do you feel this symptom? And it's amazing to see how these things can be repaired. I mean, I feel great, and I didn't feel great. You're sitting here today as an example of back to life. Mm. So you are an example of the reality that regardless of where you are, if this, if this describes you by any chance, it's not too late. But I think there's an important thing where this was discovered in your life at the worst stage. Is it possible to find people in an earlier stage and help them oh get my. out of it? Yes, quickly? yes, 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 yes. The good news is yes. So the, the first thing I, I would share is uh, we have an, an adrenal questionnaire that again will gift to anybody that wants it. Uh, and this is a subjective test, obviously, but at least it's got some questions. And before we get there, tell us how they can 
get in touch with you. Okay, to, uh, to so get we're going to offer my assistant's email address, which is Elisha at DonnaCretch.com. Okay. It's E-L-I-S-H-A, Elisha, at D-O-N-N-A-K-R-E-C-H.com. Or a person could go to 2030FastTrack.com. Uh, it will look like it's just a weight loss wellness thing, but if you opt in there, this will be part of what you get. So either way, uh, and the questions on here are the first step to take to determine, and there are questions like, do you experience problems falling asleep, staying asleep? Uh, do you find yourself needing caffeine in the morning or in the afternoon? I won't go through them, because again, we'll gift them. But beyond then the subjective test, there is a cortisol test, a saliva test that can be taken. And that will pinpoint exactly, not only where you are with cortisol levels, but cortisol levels also affect the sex hormones. So it will pinpoint where you are with for women, progesterone, estrogen, men, testosterone, estrogen, and it will show you why you may be having the symptoms that you're having. Again, God intended us to feel mm. fantastic till the day we leave the planet, but nobody's telling us that, and nobody's telling us how. So what's interesting is I think a disappointment can be a divine appointment, and I think that's what I went through. I think it was my disappointment lying there on that couch, wondering how on earth somebody as pretty big, full of energy that I am could be in this place. And the reason I believe it was a divine appointment is because we wouldn't have shifted everything we do in our nationwide company to serve people in this way if I hadn't realized that mm -hmm. this was the culprit to virtually every health symptom, and again, weight loss or the inability to, to lose weight or weight gain, we never would have known that over 35, specifically over 35 years of age, this is the stuff that's happening. It's hormone imbalance, and I lived through it so that God could use me, <laughs> right, to say, oh my gosh, you can feel amazing. You can be well. You can be whole. And well, that's why we're calling this fully alive, because we don't help people lose weight. We don't help people even be well. We help them learn how to live fully alive. Fully alive. That is what God has desired for you. He wants you to be fully alive. So we're talking about hormonal issues. We're talking about uh, tiredness. We're talking about achiness. We're talking about stress. We're talking about mind fog. All of these symptoms that individually might seem like one thing, but is it worth it to stop and think, am I having hormonal issues? Am I having adrenal issues? And a free assessment certainly is a good way to uh, get the starting point to see what could happen. As you look back, we're just about out of time for this first segment, but as you look back, Donna, and you realize the struggles that you went through, I mean, I'm sure you can't look back at lying on the couch and go, oh, that was fun, that was a vacation, it was I terrifying. enjoyed it. <laughs> it's terrifying. But now that you can look at your life now and you can feel how you're living compared to how you were living before. Describe the difference. So, you know, I really kind of always was proud of myself for a little slogan I created years ago and that's life short, don't miss a minute of it. I thought I got it. I didn't get it until I went through this. And now I really, it's my goal, it's my priority every day to live full, to realize life is short. And you know what? There's a possibility I might not wake up tomorrow. Why invest time in being mad? Why invest time in being bitter? Let me, let me look to the things that I can do today that help somebody else's day be amazing, which also then helps my day be amazing. That's, that's what's really changed. I'll check myself. If I get into that mode that's not so positive, which we can all do, mm -hmm. or reactive, which we can all do, competitive, which we can all do, and I'll stop and go, whoa, whoa, do you really want to invest your time in this? It shifts things. It makes hormones healthier, by the way, to shift that mindset. Mm -hmm. So it all works together. This is just the beginning of the story because God truly does want us to live fully alive. Here's where you can get more information about the things Donna has shared so far. 419-224-8446. That website is 2030fasttrack.com. And there is the address where you can just show up and say, hey, I, I, I got to know more about this because this is, this is you're, you're describing my life and I know that God has a better plan for me. Well, Donna, thank you so much for uh, beginning your story. We look forward to uh, the coming weeks sharing more of your story because um, God has done great things through you and he wants to do the same things through so many other people. 
Thank you so much.